we've reached the month of September, so the rainy season is about to start. I haven't quite finished painting. I need to do the, the deck yet, and that's going to be a bit of a challenge trying to find a dry enough time frame, window, to get that done. But in the meantime, I've been a busy little beaver. The wood bits are just about ready to go back on. So I'll show you what I've been up to. So these are the cap rails that go on the bow and the stern. These are the stern pieces, those are the bow pieces. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but I uh, cleaned them up, put some teak brightener on them, then penetrating epoxied them. And most recently I have put um, just straight epoxy on them. And the reason why I did that is because they will go under the boom kin and I won't be able to finish them very well when they're under the boom kin and they need to go on the boat first before the boom kin does. These guys are at the front. Uh, they won't interfere with the bowsprit other than this piece here, which goes right in the center. The bowsprit will go right over top. So I have to put those ones on. I can't just randomly put that one on because it's an alignment issue. These guys have to be aligned just perfectly down the curves of the bulwarks. So that's what I'm doing with them. I will do that this morning. Then the bowsprit, I've uh, put some epoxy on that. You can't really tell. I've drilled the holes for the bowsprit platforms to uh, drill those guys in. And I have not yet decided what I'm going to do with these brackets that I made. I have to router out a, a slot to put them in for the um, bowsprit platform to sit on. But I haven't decided what and if I'm going to do with them. The boomkin rails, I'm going to put the push pit on that today. In fact, I'm going to put another coat of epoxy on these guys. I messed up this side on both the boomkin beams, so I've just sanded them. You can see that this little white. I'm going to put some fresh epoxy on that, then I will put the cap rails back on, and then I will mount the push pit to the boomkin and then put the boomkin on the boat. Very exciting. These, of course, are the Samson posts. I put epoxy from the deck line up. I'm not really worried about the um, part that you won't see. I put penetrating epoxy on it, but it won't be exposed to the weather or the rain or the anything else. So I'm not really concerned about how that was treated but these guys definitely look good and when time permits i'll put those on too Thank you. 
the big moment has arrived. I'm going to mount the push bit on the boomkin. Now, the push bit has these little feet that sit on top of the uh, boomkin, and underneath it has these plates that sit under, and then the bolts go through the whole lot and are uh, fastened from underneath. But the old boomkin there was obviously some rot. So what I'm doing to prevent that is I'm using butyl tape and I'm going to make little donuts around the holes that I've drilled and filled on both sides. And then I will put uh, some 4200 around that. So the way I'm doing that is I'm taking a, about an inch and a half length of butyl tape and making a sort of a cigarette shape with it. Roll it out to a little tube, like so. And then place it around the hole, like so. And then when the uh, top plate goes on that, it'll squish it flat and uh, prevent any water from getting in. At least that's the theory. I think it's a good theory. So that's what I'm going to do. And there it is. The boomkin has been assembled with uh, 4200 butyl tape, 
two nuts and bolts, and a little bit of elbow grease. It is now ready to be mounted on the boat. But I can't mount it on the boat because of a wee little problem. It's not really a big problem, it's just a little problem. I'll show you what happened. So previously I had said I'm going to start putting the cap rails down in order to be able to put the boomkin and the bowsprit down. Well, with the cap rails, it seems to be a fairly simple job. The holes are already drilled. I just took the old screws out and I figured, yeah, put the new screws back in. But it didn't quite work out that way. Have a look. You can see the cap rails have been mounted. You can see those white in the screw holes. That's 4200. That little piece right at the very front was a problem. When I when I put the cap rails on, I started over here, mounted this piece, because there were holes that I could see from where it used to be. So it um, was a good sort of way to align the wood so that I didn't misplace any. And then I put this piece on, and then I put the bow cap on and then i put this piece on for the same reason there was holes uh, accessible that would put this piece right back where it came out of then i put this piece on and when i did there's about a half inch gap right here and that was kind of unsightly and ugly and it ticked me off <laughs> so i actually had to unscrew it and remove it there's 4200 underneath it which made it a little bit difficult but I did, and then I realigned it. It's about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch out or something, and screwed it back down. So that was that. But the back end, the back end here is a completely different story. The uh, cap rail pieces went on just fine. There was no gaps. But this piece here, when I when I screwed it down, there was about a quarter of an inch gap underneath it. And so the butyl tape that I had put on the holes to seal it, of course, was exposed. There was a great big gap like that much underneath it. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And what I've deduced is that the the uh, bulwark here is not the same, is not exactly the same shape. So at the bottom, down here, it fits nice and snug, but the farther you go up the, the grade here, the more it comes away. And I think it's it's off center. Like the, the wood, of course, is is plain, but this is not. So the solution that I came up with is to put wax paper all over the so the angles of the bulwark and the shape of the wood are not the same. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put some thickened epoxy down on the bulwark. And then I will screw the cap rail back in place and hopefully it'll go down tight enough to create a seal. And then I can come back with some uh, 4200 or butyl tape or whatever and then reseal it. But I gotta get going because it's starting to rain. The day has come to an end, but it's been a rather productive day. I assembled the boomkin. I fixed the cap rails on the boat. And I put the, I don't know what you call that piece on the end of the bowsprit there. The um, forced a tang thingamajig. That's the technical name. And I routed out the backs of the rudder cheeks, well, the back of one of the rudder cheeks to fit over the plate on the rudder. So uh, tomorrow I need to get some life cock black or teak or mahogany to fill the holes over the screws. And then I will fill them, 
put the boom kin on. I may put the bowsprit on. And I may put the rudder cheeks back on. So I'm within a couple of days of calling the rigger. In fact, I might call the rigger and just uh, see how he is for time. But I am very, very close. So all in all, a very good day. And as always, fair winds, following seas. God bless.